Hi, this is Hilal. In this video on Mathematical Economics series, we will solve another question that was asked by a friend Liana on Telegram channel. The question is like this. A monopolist can produce at a constant and average cost of $5 per unit. Okay. So for the monopolist, we have marginal cost equal to average cost, which is equal to $5 per unit. Assume there are two markets with the demand curves as follows. For the monopolist, he has two markets. That is Q1 is equal to 55 minus P1, where Q1 and P1 are the quantity and price in first market. Q2 is equal to 70 minus 2P2. Sim similarly, this is um, the quantity and price in second market. If the monopolist can maintain separation between two markets, what price will prevail in each market? So we need to see uh, the price that the monopolist will charge in uh, in uh, the two markets. Obviously, this will be the price discrimination uh, question. Okay, so what we need to see first of all, uh, we need to see what will happen uh, for the profits. Okay, in this case, uh, to maximize profits uh, under price discrimination, the monopolist will set marginal cost equal to marginal revenue in each market. Okay, so I will write here. Uh, to maximize to maximize uh, profits uh, under price under uh, price discrimination this is the price discrimination uh, case because uh, the question says if the monopolist can maintain separation between two markets so we have two markets with two prices okay discrimination uh, monopolist will so monopolist uh, will set uh, set marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost in each market okay each market so let's take it individually and solve this so uh, for the first market what uh, first we will see what we are being given we are being given uh, q1 is equal to 55 minus p1 also uh, q2 is equal to 54 sorry this is 70 minus 2p2 also we are being said that marginal cost is equal to average cost which is equal to 5 okay so uh, let's take uh, uh, the first market for first market okay what is that uh, we have a q1 is equal to 55 minus p1 first we need to find the inverse demand function or we can write uh, p1 is equal to uh, if we transpose this here, this here, so this will become 55 minus Q1 or total revenue in first market is equal to P1 into Q1, which comes out to be what is price uh, P is equal to 55 minus Q1 to this we multiply Q1, okay, and it comes out to be 55 Q1 minus Q1 square. So this is our total revenue in the first market. What is a margin? Asha. What is Asha? What is marginal cost in the first market? It is simply the derivative of total revenue in the first market upon uh, with respect to quantity. Okay, so setting uh, taking partial derivative taking derivative with respect to Q1. So we will get the derivative of Q1 is one. So we are left with 55 minus derivative of q1 square is 2q by power function rule so we will get this marginal cost and what sorry this is marginal revenue i rectify my mistake this is marginal revenue in the first market what is marginal cost marginal cost is a constant for both the market so marginal cost in the first market is equal to five dollars okay now uh, for profit maximization first order condition for profit maximization requires our marginal revenue in the first market should be equal to marginal cost in the first market okay so 
let me solve this what is marginal revenue marginal revenue is uh, 55 minus 2 q1 should be equal to what is marginal cost that is uh, for you or that means if we transpose 2 q1 it will become positive 55 minus 5 comes out to be 50 which implies q1 is equal to if we divide this term will get divided so 50 upon 2 comes out to be 25 so the equilibrium uh, quantity in the first market will be 25 and what will be the equilibrium price that the question asks us so equilibrium price will be equal to we just need to plug this q1 is equal to 5 uh, q1 is equal to 25 in equation let us uh, write uh, this is equation first okay that means p1 is equal to or i will write here to make it put uh, q1 is equal to 25 in equation first okay that means p1 is equal to 55 minus the value of q1 is 25 so this comes out to be p1 is equal to 55 minus 25 comes out to be 30 okay so the price in the first market will be 30 similarly uh, solving for the second market so uh, let me draw another here so for second market second market what is our demand function demand function is being given as q2 is equal to satat minus 2p okay solving for price so we have 2p transposing this will become positive is equal to 70 minus q2 or p2 is equal to if we divide this uh, 70 when we uh, transpose this uh, 2 it will get divided to each of these terms so 70 upon 2 will come out to be 35 minus 1 upon 2 here okay so it, it will become 1 upon 2 q2 i am just skipping some steps to make space for the question okay now total revenue for the second market will be price in the second market times quantity in the second market okay so what is price price is equal to 35 minus 1 upon 2 q square to this we multiply q sorry q2 okay this will come out to be uh, 35 q2 uh, minus 1 upon 2 q square okay and marginal revenue for second market is simply the derivative of total revenue in the second market and differentiating this with respect to q2 okay so this is the derivative of q2 is 1 so we are left with 35 minus derivative of q square is 2q so 2 and 2 will get cancelled we are left with q only okay i hope i am making myself uh, clear here okay so 35 minus q now a uh, first uh, order condition for profit maximization requires is that our marginal revenue in the second market should be equal to the marginal cost in the second market since marginal revenue marginal cost in the first market is equal to marginal cost in second market which is constant okay marginal revenue is 35 minus q our marginal cost is 5 which implies q is equal to if we transpose this q it will become positive 35 minus 5 comes out to be 30 okay now what we need to do we just need to uh, put q is equal to 30 in uh, equation let us write it in equation in equation second in equation second okay so we have p2 is equal to 35 minus 1 upon 2 the value of q is 30 so i will write here 30 this comes out to be 35 minus 30 divided by 2 is 15 so we got p2 is equal to 15 that can be that means we got 20 okay therefore p1 equilibrium price p1 is equal to 30 and p2 equilibrium price is equal to 
20 okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you if you like these videos please share and subscribe with your economic friends that is the only motivation for me keep going on and if you also want to donate to this channel you can uh, donate also thank you